In today's video, we'll be doing a recap of my June fragrance tray and I'll be sharing with you my July fragrance tray. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So for those of you all who may be new here, hi, my name is Aisha. You're not gonna see my face in today's video because I just washed my hair and I look like a wet puppy. So there's that. But anyway, I wanted to do this video sharing with you guys my fragrance tray because I did this last month and some of you all were quite convincing on why I should do these on YouTube as opposed to TikTok. So um, here I am. <laughs> some of you all were quite convincing, so I decided to give it a try. I hope that these videos are helpful. I do myself enjoy watching these kind of videos, so I'm happy to do it um, as long as, you know, going forward, as long as I feel like they're worth my time, they're worth your time, and they're helpful, then I'll continue doing them. So hopefully this is something that I continue doing here on this platform. So anyway, what you're looking at right now is my June fragrance tray, and we're gonna do a quick recap of each of these fragrances before I take them off and set up my new tray. So the first fragrance that I have here is Angel Nova by Mugler. This is a raspberry rose woody scent. And this one was on my tray. And I will say while this was on my tray, I think I wore it once. However, my daughter became obsessed with this bottle. Like she loves the bottle and she basically took it from me. So it's been sitting in her room. I really, I actually just went and pulled it out of her room to put it back on my tray for this video. But um, yeah, she basically stole this from me. <laughs> She's not even wearing it but she loves the bottle so much. So right now it's in her room. So that's why I didn't wear it much, but I do still love this fragrance and it's definitely staying in my collection. The next fragrance is Sunny Side Up by Juliet Has a Gun. This is a sandalwood coconut scent. And I had put this one on my tray and I had put this on my tray to be one that I put more of a dent in because I've loved this fragrance for a long time. But you know, with all the new fragrances coming out, I don't use some of my older fragrances as much. So that's kind of why I put this one on here. But I really enjoyed wearing this. I wore it probably at least five times at the very least five times. So I felt like I'm glad it was on the tray just to allow me to kind of see it again and put it at my at the forefront of my mind. This next fragrance is Cruise Del Sur 2. And I just lied to y'all. The Sunny Side Up, I think I put it on there as like an everyday or a gym type scent. Um, so yeah, the Cruise Del Sur 2 is this one here. This is a creamy mango scent. And I remember putting this one on my tray because I wanted to use it up more. And I only used it maybe once or twice. Uh, but I do still love it. I really enjoy using it and I will continue to use it this summer. Next up is Kayali Young Pistachio Gelato. This is a sweet pistachio gourmand fragrance that does have this kind of airy bright nature to it. And I ended up wearing this probably about four times this month. So I felt like that was a good um, use out of this fragrance. My dent is not as big as some people's, but like Two of the times I know I wore this to bed, so I'm not really overspraying when I wear to bed. Um, but yeah, I did really enjoy wearing this this month. This next fragrance is Tobacco Honey from Guerlain. And this one was on the tray as a date night fragrance for me. I did wear it one time um, on a, not a date night, but a night out with my friend. Uh, and I really enjoyed wearing it. I did get a compliment off of it as well. And one of the reasons I put it on the tray is I wanted to see, you know, if it would wear well in the hot weather. And the time that I wore it out, it was hot, but it was at night and I was inside. So I did enjoy wearing it. Still not something that I think I would wear if I was really gonna be outside though. Next up is Zerjoff Muse. This one was on my tray because I really wanted to get to know it. And I felt like I enjoyed wearing it. I think I wore it twice, but I still don't really feel like I know it. <laughs> it is a sweet scent to me. It reminds me of like grape soda. I don't know what the notes are right off hand, but I do know that this was like fun and sweet and playful, nothing too serious, but I did enjoy wearing it. This next fragrance is Five O'Clock Eau de Jambre by Serge Luton's. And this one was on my fragrance tray because I don't wanna say it was on the chopping block, but it's one that I need to get to know more. Uh, it is a ginger scent, but it does feel quite warm and spicy and, just very zingy. And there's another ginger fragrance that I really want, but I feel like it's gonna be similar to this. And so I wanted to put this on the tray just to see how I liked it. And I do like it. I'm still not 100% sure it's a love for me. Like, I don't know, I wore it probably twice, maybe three times, but as of this moment, 
this is still kind of like, I don't know if this is going to remain in my collection for always, you know, <laughs> but I did enjoy wearing it. It wasn't a bad experience. I just was not really wowed by it for some reason. Next up is Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Forte Bosca Vanilla. So this is a beautiful vanilla, floral, salty coconut type scent. Um, I did, this was on my fragrance tray as like an everyday scent and I did enjoy wearing it. I probably wore it maybe, maybe like three or four times. I actually wore this one to bed last night and it felt like it smelled amazing last night when I wore it. <laughs> and all the other times it smelled good as well. So I'm happy to have this. I feel like I'll get a lot more use out of this this summer. And then the last fragrance that was on my tray was Rosendo Matone number no. five. This is one of my favorite fragrances and that just was solidified this month. I had to wear this probably at the very least four times because I know I didn't go a week without wearing it. So at the very least four times and mainly I wore this around my house, <laughs> but I was smelling so freaking good. I just can't get enough of this smell. So happy to have had that on my tray this month as well. So that was June's tray. Let me do a quick wipe down and then we'll get into July's tray. So for my trays, as of last month, I started doing categories. Uh, so basically a fragrance for each type of occasion. <laughs> <laughs> just because I felt like this is fun. Yes, it does make picking my tray a little bit more difficult because I'm thinking about it more, but I don't know, I enjoy it. So as I put each fragrance on the tray, I will let you guys know why I chose it, like what particular category I chose it for. So this first fragrance is Flower Bomb Tiger Lily and I chose this as my day-to-day -day fragrance. This is kind of a newer release. I believe I've only worn it one time since I got it. Poor job, Aisha. <laughs> But this is a um, floral, fruity, uh, coconut type scent. So the fruit that I think is supposed to be the star of this show is mango. The florals that are in here, I know there's lily. I don't know if there's any other florals, but honestly, it just kind of smells like a tropical floral. <laughs> anyway, obviously I get a, need to get to know this more. So that's why, it's, that's why I wanted to put it on my tray. But yeah, this is what I chose for my day-to-day -day scent. My special daytime scent for this month will be Talea by Tiziana Terenzi. This is a summer fragrance in my opinion. To me, what I get from this is like tropical fruits, like a bunch of mixed fruits that give off a slight clean type vibe, almost like ocean air type vibe. So um, this fragrance is one that when I got it, I enjoyed it, but it really wasn't what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> And so I wanted it on the tray this month to kind of like play around with it. I don't think I've worn this since last summer. So this will be my like special daytime scent. My next category is a bedtime slash cozy scent. And the fragrance that I chose for that is this one from Laura Mercier. This is the Almond Coconut Eau de Toilette. So I picked this up from TJ Maxx a couple months ago and it was just sitting in my collection. I haven't worn it yet. However, I have had this fragrance before like a long time ago. So I am familiar with it. It's just that I haven't worn it from this bottle. But I felt like this is the time of the year to pull out those coconuts. And this one is just like a warm, cozy type scent that I feel like will be great for bedtime. My next category is a night out fragrance. And the fragrance I decided to go with is Blue Turquoise by Armani Privé. I love this fragrance. It's probably in my top 10 fragrances. It is a salty vanilla that has some woodiness to it. It has some incense to it. It has black pepper in it. And all of that just makes for a very unique scent. And it's quite like prominent. So I have worn this on a summer night before. And although I chose it for like my night out scent, I'm pretty sure I will wear it on a night out, but I also will wear this during the day as well. But it's just, it's a great one. My next category is my date night in fragrance and the fragrance I decided to go for is Minuit at Demi by Fragrance Dubois and Demi Rawling. This is a cozy like cardamom, vanilla, coffee type scent. I believe it has caramel in there as well. It's very like appealing. It, it's gourmand leaning, but it's not super sweet. It's not super heavy. I feel like this works year round and I haven't worn it in a while. So I really wanted to wear it and I felt like it'll be great for like nights in easy reach when I want to smell a little bit fancy or if I'm doing like a date night 
or a movie night in the house or something. So I'm excited to have this one on the tray as well. The next category is my gym scent slash clean girl type of scent. And the fragrance that I went for is Princess Eau Fresh by Killian. You can see I have quite the dent. I got this last summer. I love the smell of it. However, performance sucks on it. And so I kind of want to be done with it, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying that. And then who knows? I might go buy a refill. But anyway, um, it smells really good. It's marshmallow. It's fluffy. It's bright. It has some citruses in it. It's great for summertime. And I feel like this will be a good choice for the gym. My next category is a fragrance that I want to use up or put a big dent in. And the fragrance that I decided to go for is Vanille Ensemble from Atelier Colognes. I have loved this fragrance for so long, probably like 10 years, y'all. Now this is not my initial bottle, but I have had this fragrance for a long time, this particular bottle. And so I feel like I need to use it up because I don't want it to go off and I love it. And it's like the where, where it sits in my collection is in the back. And so I don't reach for it very often, but I feel like I like this for summer. It's a vanilla, but it has a lime note in it. To me, it has some woody notes as well. It has a slight bit of saltiness to it, in my opinion, but nothing over the top. But I feel like this is one of those vanillas you can wear year round. And there's just something unique about the way this smells that I have a hard time explaining, but it smells so good. So I decided to go ahead and put it on the tray this month. The next category is a new fragrance or one that I have never worn. So that would be Rosendo Mattel number eight. This is a new fragrance to me. I recently hauled it. However, when I showed it in my haul, it had been sitting in my room to waiting for a haul for like two months. So I really wanna make sure I wear this. It smells really good, it's juicy, it's fruity. It, from first impressions to me, it smells like it has some sort of minty or herbal vibe to it as well. Um, so yeah, we shall see how it wears, but I am definitely going to be wearing this this month. And then my last category is my wild card fragrance. So basically just a fragrance I wanted to wear that didn't have to fit into any category. It could be a duplicate of a category, but just something I wanted to put on there just cause I wanted to put it on there. And the fragrance that will be for this month is Dekas by Zerzhov. I love this fragrance. However, I recently moved my Zerzhov fragrances to a higher shelf. And therefore, I don't reach for them as much because I have to use a ladder to get up there. And so even though this is the kind of fragrance I could reach for a lot because of where it's located in my collection, I haven't reached for it in a couple months. And I love this. It's a resinous citrusy scent. So um, think like amber, honey, but mixed with these bright citruses. It might have a little bit of woodiness in the base. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's, it's amazing, y'all. So can't wait to actually wear this one again. So that is my tray for the month of July. Let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances, what you think of them, what it will be on your tray for this upcoming month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out some of my other videos because I have a ton of content you can check out. All my links for the products I mentioned along with all my social media links will be listed down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.